I'm gonna try to become that girl. Starting with my fridge, it's giving expiration date. Um, I'm gonna take everything out so I can deep clean Put most of it in the freezer because it's probably gonna take me a few hours. I'm pretty sure I can take the shelves out. clean now it's time to fill it back up i got an egg container i feel so fancy this is so extra okay in this container i'm doing strawberries and raspberries this one will have blackberries and blueberries this is so pretty am i on pinterest i can eat a whole bag of cherries in one day so it's getting its own container so i can use it as a plate and grappas these are going on the middle shelf i cut up some watermelon so i'm putting it in this container same thing with pineapple this one's gonna have cut up vegetables to snack on crisper container thing i don't really know what it does but i'm putting my greens in it oh my gosh i didn't realize it was gonna take this much work to become that girl this is just the fridge i wasn't ready look how aesthetically pleasing this is well whose fridge is this not mine it's that girl's it's so beautiful now i'm gonna put the juices in separate i'm just kidding <laughs> I'm not doing that. Putting the cheese and butter here. Coffee and cream are going on this shelf. This stuff is so good, by the way. It tastes like a banana milkshake. Sauces, Capri Suns will go here because I'm addicted. Almost done. After six hours, this is what it looks like. And I love it so much. This is my favorite part. There's so much space. It looks like I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't. Next step, redecorating my bed. Let me show you my favorite thing that I use to keep up with my classroom resources throughout the year. These right here are the IKEA magazine holders and let me show you how I use them. So I have one magazine holder for each week of school. As you can see, it goes all the way down my cubby. When it's time for that week of school, so this is obviously the first one, so this is week one, I will pull it. And then inside of it is all of the resources that I use for the first week of school. And I know what you're thinking. Girl, you need to label those. And you're right, I do. And one day when I have extra time, I will. I will do that. But let me show you how I organize my materials on the inside of these holders. So on the inside, I have all of the crafts, papers, anything that I need to make copies of for that specific week of school. So I can just pull it, get the thing I do. We always do Pete the Cat the first week of kindergarten for our stagger days. And so then I can just get my original copies and make them. And then when I'm done, I just put it right back. And it is super easy. And these Ikea holders are so cheap. They're like maybe two, I wanna say they're like $1.99, unless the price has gone up. I could be wrong about that. But they're a couple dollars and you get five in a pack. I highly recommend these. I learned it from my mentor teacher when I was student teaching. And this is something that I will forever use to keep my resources organized. I'm a professional organizer and here's how I maximize space in this small pantry. First step is to take everything out and place them into categories. Normally I'd be tossing out expired food, but my client did that for me ahead of time. To make more space, we decided to move all the alcohol to the bar and the vases into the garage. Next, it's time to plan the space. Start placing food back into the pantry where you would like them to go. I decided to move canned foods up one shelf, baking is top shelf, snacks and dinner in the middle, and kids on the bottom, and chips back to the floor. Next, I write down measurements in my notes app, decide what type of containers I need, and count exactly how many of each type of container I need. Then it's off to my favorite place, the container store. I already have my list. The only decisions to make are based on style. My client's preference was for the floor baskets to match tile and no white. This was a three-cart trip for a total of $1,500. 
The first thing I do when I get back is wash out all the food containers, disinfect baskets and bins, and remove labels. Filling labels can be very tedious, so I like to use my Cricut tool to help. This process alone took about two hours to complete. These are the baskets I chose for the chips on the floor. These are for the dinner and snack shelves, and these are for baking and treats on the top shelf. The corners of this pantry are really tight, so it made the most sense to use Lazy Susans and store sauces and condiments on them. I love using home edit all-purpose bins with inserts for kids' snacks. The inserts prevent snacks from falling over and keep everything categorized, which is super helpful for the little hands in your pantry. Once the food containers are completely dry, it's time to start filling them. Pro tip, keep the original package next to the container until they're labeled so that you don't forget what is in them. I use the P-Touch label maker to make custom labels. My client requested black labels with white writing. The last and final step is to place everything in the pantry and make adjustments if needed. And here are the final results. I love how it turned out and the family was so happy with it too. This transformation took 10 hours, but it never feels like work when you love what you do.
I'm so excited to show you a few of these new kitchen gadgets. This container creates pressure so no air can leak in. I got these expanding coasters that lock into mugs for more stable and neat storage. You can always have more space in the fridge, so I got these yogurt trays that save shelf space. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone.
Okay guys, today's the day. We are finally going to organize my vanity drawers. So I got this from Amazon. It's supposed to be for your spices, but I thought it would go great here. It actually expands to fit the drawer completely, but we're gonna keep it collapsed. So I think I'm gonna start off this row with like light foundations and skin tint. These you put before your foundation and it adds a nice glow. This row will have medium to full coverage. And then the last row, we're going to do some of my favorite drugstore. Okay, I'm going to add a bin on this side. I have some foundation sticks. And some more of my drugstore favorites. I'm going to scoot this to the back since I don't use it like all the time. The last bin for this drawer. I'm going to add some color correcting products. If you have really red skin like me, you would love this. It's better than the Dr. Jar Tiger Grass one. Okay, first drawer is done. Moving on to the second drawer. I'm adding this organizer right here. I'm going to put some of the powdered blush on this side. And the second bin will have some of my favorite cream blush. Lastly, her liquid blush. I need a smaller one right here for contour sticks. Last two bins. My absolute two faves for cream contour. Okay, so I have this awkward space here, and even though I have nothing to put, I'll just put this for now. Okay, second drawer is done. I'm still figuring out the rest of the drawers, as you can see, so we'll get to it in part two.